A recent study finds half the adults in this country suffer from gum disease. Seniors are especially at risk because Medicare doesn't cover most dental visits. But there are simple ways to keep your mouth and your body healthy. Dr. Jonathan Levine is an oral health expert and a professor at New York University School of Dentistry. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, why are seniors at a higher risk for gum disease? Well, you know, with, with seniors, it's all about developing lifestyle habits all the way. You really don't want to be waiting till you're over 65 to really get on top of this. You know, oral health, it's, it's very preventable. It's all about controlling plaque. So how well do we do that? So it's, it's really developing these lifestyle habits as we get older. And just think about it, 76 million Americans, the baby boomers, are really going to be impacting this whole oral health system, the whole the, the dental offices. So we really have to get ahead of that curve, and we really want to start a lot, a lot earlier. So what seniors have to do now is, if they're having periodontal problems, and it's a big issue in America, we actually call it a silent ep epidemic. Because if you look at the statistics, one out of two Americans have periodontal disease. That is right. chronic inflammation in the mouth, and there's this whole connection between oral health and overall health. So seniors, what they need to do is get ahead of it. People, you know, on Medicare, dental schools are fantastic. There are 64 dental schools in 40 countries. But it's also very expensive. Yeah. Oral health is very expensive. Yeah. And, and what happens if you don't have the insurance, as, a, as we mentioned at the top? It, it is expensive, and I have to stress the preventability of, of oral disease. So if you're looking at decay, but we're afraid of the dentist, Dr. Levine. We, you know what? We're Den afraid to go to you guys. I have to tell you something that the dental offices are t of today are more like spas than anything else. You won't <laughs> believe it, but it's true. We have so much modernization of computers, um, focus on oral health. And, and understanding risk assessment in the dental office. So it doesn't have to be a painful experience? Uh, not, no way, it really not at all. And it's really changing those early fears because remember when we were early and we were traumatized, we bring that with us. We have to have now new experiences. And so I really have to uh, really state that the dental offices of today have greatly changed. And you have to do your homework. You know, you get referred by a friend, you have to really look at modernization, sterilization techniques. You know, as the dentist, is he teaching? Is he associated with the university? And you really could find them. You, you just got to get your homework done on that. All my right. number one question, is he gentle? Exactly. That's, that's, what, that's always my first question going in the door. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Dr. Jonathan Levine.